couple of things you can see here you've got this kind of circle around it again it's always very difficult i'll try and put it in as close as i can on the audio on the um, screen share but you've got this um kind of fall off going around the audio object here as a sort of a big circle you can kind of see there my terribly drawn circle so that's showing it's um the fall off uh, in the space itself and what i want to do over here is on my spatial blend and this is an important step so over here on the component it's my annotation pen here right there spatial blend um i want to drag that it's currently 2d uh, and i want to drag up to 3d okay so i've got 3d now, also, you'll be forgiven, and this is kind of a common mistake, is that's got a circle around it at the moment. You'll be forgiven for thinking that that is the, that's the the full um, scope of where the uh, where the audio itself is. It's actually not. That's the that's only the inside. I have to go all the way out because it kind of defaults. If I out 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 out, out, out right, right out there we go. It's it's because it's essentially infinite because I'm. Maybe you just want your sound to play all over the place and you can do that and you can just place it. But what we want is spatial sound. We want the sound to change as I've demonstrated. So I need to kind of grab that and drag it all the way back down, all the way back down. The here, this 3D sound settings on the component. Uh, I've got logarithmic. I tend to do linear fall off for spatial because I don't need it to be exponential. And then you've got minimum distance, then you've got maximum distance. And you can see here, this maximum distance is currently set to 52. So it's between one and 52. So I bring that down to two, is that better? So you can probably see that now. So we've actually now got a spatialized sound, which will play between that inner sphere and that outer sphere. And that's kind of really all there is to it. So I can now go and place that particular sound in the space where I want it. So actually, I'm just going to do it a bit more diagrammatic. So I'm going to go into the top view. Let's actually turn this roof off. So I'm just going to hit the eye. I'm not going to disable it entirely because I want it to be there in the experience. But I'm just going to turn it off using the um, the visibility on the uh, on the hierarchy. So I can just start to do it that way. And I can move. Oh, got rid of the wrong one. Um, where's my stem? So I can start to place that sound. I can even start to kind of drag it out kind of diagrammatically where I want it to fall. Again, it's unfortunately, I can't make that any more visible on the screen share, but there is the sort of the circle around the outside. That I'm just going to just going to drag in and out. That I want that, that, want that sound to play. So I want that sound to kind of play sort of over here, for example. Right? That's how I would do it. 